A lot of confusion often exists around why raw materials are used in feeds and what they're actually contributing to the feed. Today we're going to talk through some of the different raw materials and we'll start with cereals. The first one we're going to look at is maize. Now you may be more familiar with this as sweet corn. This is the raw format and they're very hard little kernels when they're dried which the horse wouldn't be able to chew and digest very easily. So a horse feed manufacturer will actually process it by rolling and cooking it to create a bigger flake which is much easier for the horse to eat and it's much more digestible. The other types of cereals that are commonly used include barley and wheat. We have barley here and wheat here. Barley is slightly more golden and has a, a pointy end, whereas wheat is brown and has a flat end. Finally in the cereals we have oats. This is a traditional oat with a very fibrous husk. Some oats are grown that actually don't have that husk and they're referred to as naked oats. All of the cereals are included in feeds to provide quick release energy which comes from starch. They're quite low in protein, quite low in vitamins and minerals, but you're really using them as an energy source. They may also be processed further to create an extrusion. This nugget here, you may see similar things in cat and dog food. It basically takes the cereals, makes them more digestible by cooking them again and expands them into little shapes. They're much easier for the horse to eat and therefore much more digestible. Finally, you may see all these ingredients included in a, a coarse mix like this one on the end here. <laughs> 